Today's topic of discussion is adverse drug reaction of the corticosteroid. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shannaz Malik and we are going to discuss adverse drug reaction of the corticosteroid. Single dose of the corticosteroid is harmless and it is life saving drug in anaphylactic reaction and acute adrenal insufficiency where it is useful as a single dose of the corticosteroid. So the use in the high doses for the longer duration of time like uh, 2 to 3 weeks causes number of undesirable effects can occur and most of the drug ex uh, adverse drug reaction are extension of their pharmacological action. So first of all is the metabolic effect on the carbohydrate metabolism. So hyperglycemia occur or aggravate pre-existing diabetes due to stimulation of glycogen deposition in the liver as well as uh, gluconeogenesis from the other sources like amino acid and decrease peripheral utilization of the glucose ultimately what happened glucose will increase in the blood next is the cussing uh, habit uh, habitus it is the abnormal pet distribution causes peculiar features like a moon face buffalo hum and thinning of the leg so prolonged use of the corticosteroid uh, causes redistribution of the body, uh, body fat and deposited over the neck, face and shoulder. Ultimately, what happened? Uh, face become round like moon. So it is called moon face. Uh, fat deposition over the back of the neck. So it is the buffalo hump and uh, fat deposition over the cheek. So face, mouth and thinning of the limb. Peptic ulcer formation in gastrointestinal tract. Sometimes it becomes hemorrhagic due to decreased local immune response against H. pylori infection and inhibit prostaglandin as well as pepsin secretion and aggravate peptic ulcer. Salt in water retention. Mineralocorticoid effect may cause edema and hypertension and even precipitate congestive heart failure, particularly in patients with primary hyperaldosteronism. They can be minimized by synthetic steroid like dexamethasone and betamethasone. Effect over the muscle. So, uh, treatment with uh, steroid for longer duration of time causes hypokalemia, lead to muscle weakness and fatigability. Long term steroid therapy leads to steroid myopathy can occur. Effect on the bone. So, osteoporosis occur due to decrease formation of the osteoblast and increase formation of the osteoclast. Ultimately, pathological fracture of the vertebral bodies is common and ischemic necrosis of the femoral head can occur. Growth retardation in children may common with the dexamethasone and vitamethasone and uh, it, uh, in the eye, glaucoma and cataract may occur on the prolonged use of the corticosteroid. CNS adverse effects are like behavioral disturbance like uh, nervousness, insomnia, mood change, psychosis can precipitate. On longer use of the corticosteroid like as an immunosuppressant, chances of opportunistic infection like fungal infection, viral infection and bacterial infection can precipitate. On inhalation steroid, local irritation and fungal infection of upper respiratory tract can uh, can occur and it can be prevented by the use of the spacer uh, during the inhalation of the uh, corticosteroid and uh, rinsing of the mouth after inhalation of the corticosteroid. Now, hypothalamopituitary excess suppression is the most dangerous side effect on long term use of the steroid, which decreases acetate secretion through the negative feedback effect on the hypothalamus and pituitary gland and ultimately adrenal cortical atrophy can occur. So hypothalamic pituitary adrenal excess. When some stress occur, hypothalamus releases CRH. CRH will stimulate anterior pituitary and SCTH release and SCTH will stimulate adrenal cortex to release cortisone. Now cortisone is present in the blood then negative feedback will activate and it will inhibit uh, hypothalamus to release CRH as well as anterior pituitary release SCTH. So ultimately external steroid will suppress HPA axis and adrenal cortex atrophy 
and endogenous steroid synthesis will inhibit it. So abruptly stoppage of the corticosteroid will flare up the underlying disease being treated. Withdrawal symptoms like fever, myalgia, arthralgia and malaise can occur and adre acute adrenal insufficiency on exposure to stress which manifest anorexia, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, hypotension, dehydration, hyponatremia and hyperkalemia can occur. The important precaution to be taken during long term uh, steroid therapy to minimize the HPA axis suppression. So whenever possible topical use is preferred, short term or intermediate acting steroid should be preferred over the long term, uh, long acting, longer acting steroid. Give steroid as a single morning dose at 8 a.m. or if daily dose is high then administer two-third of the dose in the morning and one-third of the dose in the evening which mimic the, mimic the natural uh, hormone release level in the and minimize the HPA excess suppression. Now try alternative day therapy in chronic condition like in bronchial asthma, nephrotic syndrome and systemic lupus erythromatous. In this condition, steroids should be given on alternate day. It is called pulse therapy. Withdrawal steroid of, after the long term, more than two weeks of the therapy should be very slow or allowed to recover to normal adenocortical function. The dose of the steroids should be tapered gradually and then stopped. It will take days or weeks or even longer for the HPA axis to recover after stoppage of therapy. During this period, the patient will require treatment with the steroid on exposure to the stress. If the patient on long term steroid therapy is exposed to stressful condition like infection or major surgery, the dose of steroid administered should be increased to overcome stress. Now, mnemonics for the adverse drug reaction of the corticosteroids are C4 Cusingoid syndrome, O4 osteoporosis, R4 redistribution of the fat, T4 thinning of skin, I4 infection, C4 cataract, and O4 osteonecrosis of the neck of femur. S4 stress ulcer, T4 telangiectasia, E4 euphoria, G4 growth retardation. O for low potassium and I for increased sodium, D for diabetes and A for suppression of ACTH excess. Glucocorticoid uh, are contraindicated in following condition like hypertension, diabetes, peptic ulcer, uh, tuberculosis, herpes simplex keratitis, osteoporosis, epilepsy, psychosis, congestive cardiac failure and renal disease. In all these diseases, uh, corticosteroids are contraindicated. Thank you for watching the video.